All right, guys. So today, I'm a trailer, as you can see right here. I'll do that. What happened is I replaced all the wiring and I put a box that come with a wiring already in it. Get pulled out. And it's a connector that's built in, all sealed up. Well, it's not long enough to go with my tailgate to the factory hitch underneath. So I got online, which I'll put a link in the description below. I bought a kit. It's like a hundred bucks shipped to you off of eTrailers.com. And what it is, is it connects directly into the bottom connector to put a new seven way. And this truck had a five way already in it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm snipping out the hole for my 10 snips to where this connector will fit inside of it. So, uh, hang on and watch for a second while I do what I got to do to get it to work and fit. All my Dewalt batteries for my drill are dead, so that much impact it is. I do plug my lights in is that right there put all that stuff over let's close the tailgate but underneath you want the stuff I can see right here how that connector is so this set up. Come in here and unplug it. <coughs> See that? Reach in there with a screwdriver. Oh, 
unplug it. Ooh, got a little bit of corrosion in there, actually. So, I'll come back. Let's see if y'all can see that. See that pin right there? It's corroded. Just an electric cleaner. So I get some electrical cleaner, clean all the corrosion out, get dried out. Then I'll fill them up, fill it up with dielectric grease. What I'll do is do that and I'll push it in to where I make sure it gets in there. And all this does, which actually will do it on here too. Dielectric grease all that one. Because this part plugs in right there, which I'll put a zip tie holding all of it good and tight. And then this part, you pull the pin back, it already is. You put it on this connector, which is the factory. So it clicks, push your red blocking pin. And all you gotta do left, all you got left to do is take all your excess wire and zip tie everything up nice and out of the way. And you can possibly see up there how it has a 90 where it comes off to where it don't push straight into the bed. And I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is, I figured I'd do this instead of trying to splice everything and making everything all janky. Like I said, I'll put a zip tie on this and then tape it up real good to where it don't come loose on me or get anything in it. So if y'all have any questions about any of this, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your buddies and friends and get them to like and subscribe because times is hard because it's corona. And I ain't talking about the beer because it makes times easier. So y'all have a great day. Thank y'all for all y'all's likes and shares and everything else y'all do. Have a good one.